You who? Over here. Come on. Yes. Over here. I've been looking all over for you. Well, okay. Really just here in the back garden. But now that I've found you, come on over. Yes. Over here please. Don't be such a stranger. Have a seat. There's a bench for you just there. Super. Now I'll share with you a few things about Arizonok. Here, like many places, the spring season brings the promise of new life. Yes, such beauty, but spring also means weddings. Ah, uh, holy matrimony, I just love weddings. Hmm, where to begin? Oh, let's see, I know, I've been meaning to tell you about a young visitor to our beloved country. Yes, that will make a good start. Like you, he's not yet completely familiar with our people and our customs. But you know outsiders can bring such interesting perspective to a situation. Where are you headed? Natalie called me. She said one of her drivers called in sick. She asked me to make a delivery. Oh, can you drop me off at my friend Franz on your way there? Possibly. If you help me load the van I'll probably have a few extra minutes. Is it on the way? Oh yay. Say, sounds like you're starting to blend right in here. You've been here in Harizanuk. What, nearly a month now? Yes, it's just starting to feel normal again. Except I've noticed something very odd. I don't recall seeing a single dog since arriving here in Harizanuk. Does no one have a pet dog here? A dog? What is a dog? You're kidding, right? You don't know what a dog is? I guess not. Can you describe one for me? Sure. Dogs are four-legged animals. They have a long nose and a tail. They come in different colors and sizes. But average dogs are generally about waist height. As an example, back home, I have a standard poodle. It has curly white hair, big ears, and a short fluffy tail. Oh, yes. Now I know what you mean, you foreigners and your funny names. It must be a cultural naming difference. We have poodles here too. In fact, we have whole fields of them. Fields of poodles? Oh, yes. The farm down the road from me has acres of them. Acres of poodles. Yes, indeed. That doesn't sound right. I'm wondering if perhaps you are referring to sheep. Yes, sheep, poodles, whatever. I don't see any point in splitting rabbits over animal names. Splitting rabbits? You mean splitting hairs? There you go again. Rabbits, hairs. What difference does it make? You know what I mean. What's with you and your insistence on such specific taxonomy? I um, Never mind. You know what's weird? I could have sworn you had on an outfit of a different color a minute ago. Just a trick of the light, dear. Don't worry about it. It happens a lot around here. In fact, I saw a woman at the festival whose shirt looked like it couldn't decide what color to be. If you say so. That's the last load. Are you coming? No. Go ahead without me. I'll catch up with Fran another time. Just as well. I'm running a little late now anyway, but thanks for the help. Does it seem to you like the drivers around here are in this sort of constant state of panic? I suppose so. There do appear to be an extraordinary number of reckless drivers in this city. Funny though, I never see anyone pulled over for speeding or running a red light. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I hear sirens all the time, but there's no enforcement. On the other hand, I can't say I've ever seen a tow truck or an ambulance either. And the infrastructure must be remarkably resilient to hold up the way it does. I was really hoping that things were going to pick up here. Too true, my friend. Too much talking ruins a good car story. What we need is a good action sequence. Let's go, Joanna. Time to get this show on the road. Wait, where is Claire? She's riding in the other limo with the bridesmaids. All right, Harry. 
So what is this big surprise you have planned for the reception? My parents were not especially happy about this destination wedding in Horizonuk. They were even less pleased that the reception location was kept a secret. Come on, you have to admit that mystery destination wedding has cool a ring to it. What if we lose our guests in this little convoy? More food for us at the reception? I guess they just better keep up. Well, at least this car isn't difficult to spot. Yeah, where did you find this thing anyway? Fine? What do you mean fine? This automotive masterpiece was created just for my favorite new Lewin company. Wow, that's a lot of work for a short ride. Who said anything about a short ride? It's not every day that two professional race car drivers get hitched. I thought the occasion deserved a little more flair than the usual fare. Okay, now I'm terrified. Some serious driving. No, I'm not sure how he even keeps up in that little car of his. How about that? I guess car racing really is a family trait. You are intentionally trying to lose our family and guests. No, not at all. See, they are all doing just fine. Holy crap, what the heck was that all about? Dang, this place is crazy. Hey, you better slow down. I think we really lost everyone. I am going to be in so much trouble when we finally get there. You mean if we get there? Exactly how qualified is this chauffeur of yours? I'm glad you finally asked. We are about to find out. Oh no. I think you'll like this, but you'll want to keep the windows closed. Woohoo! Welcome to the matrimonial midway extravaganza, my little gift to you, a special event I have dubbed the Seven Year Ditch. Thank you, Lemmy. You have outdone yourself. You know, something from the wedding registry would have been just fine. I'm sure, but I figured a set of fancy dishes or a mixer wouldn't have been quite as memorable. There really is a reception at the end of all this, right? You bet. I have a tent set up for you right in the middle of the festival. You better make sure the bar is fully stocked. After this ride, more than a few of our guests will probably need a drink. Actually, I have a confession to make about that. You're kidding. No bar? Nothing like that. The directions to the reception were in the wedding program. So why were they trying so hard to keep up with the limo? Simple. They went, I had a bunch of my stunt driver friends follow us. Your friends and family took a different route. They should already be here. You little double crosser. Wait a second, what about Uncle Sid? Ah, that power of suggestion. All right, Lemmy. You got us good. But now let's talk about how you plan to get us to the airport. No more surprises, okay?
Dude, thanks for taking the time to show me the ropes here. I could barely sleep last night worrying about messing this up. There are some basic mechanics to it. You should expect there will be a sort of learning curve, if you know what I mean. So pay attention and I'll get you through this. Alright, go ahead. So when a car comes to the gate, hold back two hands like this in a sort of sweeping motion. You mean like this? Hold on a minute. You didn't let me finish. Now I gotta start over. Sorry dude, I'm really nervous. Just relax. Now watch me this time. Two hands at the same time in a slow sweeping motion. Hey, I said wait till I'm finished. Can't I practice the first part while you're talking? No. Cool your jets boss. Starting again. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't realize I was still doing it. Just stand there and pay attention like I told you. Okay now? So after the first part, you use one hand to point inside the gated area like this. Like this? No, not like that. You didn't do the first part. You have to do them in order? Yeah, that's why I told you to wait until I was finished. I, stop, you're doing it again. No, wait, I think I really have it now. No, 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 you're doing it all wrong. Look here. Come on, open the dang gate. I've got a delivery to make. I'm already late as it is. God, how many knuckleheads does it take to run a gate? Oh my, where did you go? Is that you over there in the hedgerow? Did you drop something my dear? Come come, come back over here, please. I insist, this won't be long at all. Now where was I? Oh yes, you know, we have some real characters here in Harizanok. Oh no, see here, I'm not talking about you, dear, no no. People like you and me are, well, you know someone's got to keep an even keel amidst all those oddballs. Don't we? So those newlyweds I was telling you about, I expect you were very eager to know how that all turned out. Well sometimes a fast car will only get you so far. Nice job Lemmy. Looks like you really messed this up. We would have been better off walking to the airport. Who knew that my little secret shortcut would become so popular with the executive crowd? Can't we just push through? Push through? There are like five cars in front of us. Goodbye, love. Have a good, good time at the after party. Watch out for traffic. The lane is backed up again. No worries. I'll just teleport through the garden wall. See you later. Wow. Your wife is amazing. Yeah, for sure. I think she has a party to go to every night of the week. No. I mean driving right through a wall. How does she do that? Oh, that. Physics has never really been her strong suit. I've seen other people do that too. I saw a couple folks at the festival do it just yesterday. One minute they're walking along the wall like normal. Next minute, boom, right through the support race like it wasn't even there. Wow. Like some sort of superpower or something. That's nothing. Have you ever crossed paths with the Group Levitation Society? The what? No. You're making that up. No. Seriously. There were a whole bunch of them down at the castle the other day. They hovered about a foot off the ground without anyone saying a word. But somehow there was this faint murmuring sound in the air. Dude, that's totally messed up. Yeah, super creepy. Gives me chills just thinking about it. Oh, hey, how's the new recruit at work? Oh, not so good. So I keep trying to show the guy how to wave cars in at the gate, but he won't even wait for me to finish. I swear it was like we were stuck in some endlessly repeating loop. Sorry to hear that, but I know what you mean about the endless loop thing. I get that feeling a lot too. It keeps me up all night just thinking about it. When you can't sleep, you know what works for me. Try counting poodles. I tell ya, the nights just fly by. You'll see. It feels like they last only 10 minutes. I guess you could say that's my superpower. 
Speaking of night. Yeah? It's late. I'd love to stand here chatting all night. What? But nothing. I'd love to stand here chatting all night. You know what I really love about this town? Is it the fascinating irony of an automobile-centric environment that lacks fueling stations? No, no, not that. I love the nightlife around here. A lot of cities talk about an active nightlife, but we really do it right. I mean, it doesn't matter what time it is at all. People are out doing stuff around the clock, and not just the party scene. Plazas, backyards, tourist attractions, even the lifeguards are on duty around the clock. That's some serious nightlife right there. Sounds kind of dangerous. Can a lifeguard see a shark in the ocean at night? What is a sh- Never mind. It doesn't really matter. Nobody goes in the world to anyway. Sort of begs the question. Why do we need a lifeguard in the first place? If we did it of lifeguards, then who would staff all those lifeguard station? You mean besides that nut job that looks like he's cheering for his favorite team when nobody is even there? Hey, that's me, you jerk. Far be it for you to be critical of my recreational pastime. Oh, sorry. I thought your recreational pastime was talking to me. I'm a man of many talents. Yes, I'm beginning to see that. But we digress. You were discussing our extensive nightlife. Oh, forget about the nightlife. Indeed. What we need is a topic with a little more intrigue. Did you have something in particular in mind? Yes, I did. What would you say to her trip back to the festival? The bride and groom are long gone by now. Yes, but remember, there was that little incident after the newlywed couple arrived at the festival. Oh, yes, yeah, that. So Lenny, where did you guys go in the other limo after we left the church? Oh, nowhere really. We just drove around a bit. Right. Still full of secrets I see, eh? I'll save that story for the newlyweds to tell. So be it. I'll get the story from my sister later myself. Hey, there's Darcy. I'll catch up with you later. Darcy, Darcy, over here. See you around, Claire. Darcy, that woman is calling your name. Oh wow. Hey Claire, yo party girl, wherever you been, let's dance. Darcy, Darcy, stop a second. What? Those creepy guys over there keep staring at us. Yeah, so what? I don't mind an audience. Come on, let's just dance. Look, they're just standing over there staring at us. Yeah, I see them. Just ignore it. I can't. I saw them looking at me when I was over by the food stand too. How can you be so sure? A lot of people around here look alike. No, it's the same guys. Hold on. I'm going to pretend I'm on the phone with the police. That will scare them off. Hello. Police? Yes, I'd like to report a stalker here at the festival. I'm afraid his intentions are bad. Please send someone quickly. Hmm, that didn't seem to phase them at all. Maybe it would be more convincing if you actually held your phone in your hand when you made the fake call. Okay, wise guy. If you're such a pro, then you do it. I'm not the one here with the paranoid delusions. Paranoid? Can't you see them? Look at them. They haven't even moved. There's something seriously wrong with those guys. And look, now I'm not moving either. I thought we were going to dance. Never mind. You dance. I think I saw Hank around here. He works for some private security company. Last time I saw Hank he was headed in that direction. Thanks. Hey Claire, what's up? You don't look like you're having a good time. No. There are a bunch of guys around here that just stare at me wherever I go. Darcy says I'm imagining it. Here, have a seat. You'd better explain this to me from the beginning. 
So do you see any of them now? Yes, they are standing right behind you. Can't you see them? Huh? Now that you mention it, I think you have a point. There are a number of people here who are surprisingly still for a racing festival event. I better make a call. I know who to speak to about this. Shoot, do you have a phone on you? Oh, I think you're going to want to use a different phone than mine. Code Red folks, standing dead at the Horizon Festival. Festival zombies. Get move on it. No time to lose, troops. We need to stop this incursion before it spreads. Zombie Strike Force. This specially trained group of soldiers is outfitted with an impressive array of zombie fighting equipment. The force consists of two specialized groups. The first response unit is an elite subdivision of the force, specially trained for zombie emergencies when a quick intervention is required. Equally prepared for urban, suburban and rural assaults, the first response unit arrives on the scene as the frontline defense against zombies. The first response unit gets the lay of the land and devises the team's overall strategy. They also initiate the search and rescue process. The tactical unit arrives next, rounding out the team with advanced weaponry and more extensive support troops. The tactical unit brings the brute force needed to keep larger outbreaks under control. Together, they are the Zombie Strike Force. Zombie Strike Force. like this is all finally building to climax. Look, here comes a police car. Let's see if anyone gets a speeding ticket this time. Oh wait, that's not a police car. That's just the strike force again. Oh yeah, zombies. I heard about that. Yep, festival zombies. That place is always crawling with them. How do you suppose they fight off zombies with an open top dune buggy? Another great mystery of Horizon Arc, I suppose. Nope. That's still not it. Watch closely this time. No. Wait until I finish. Shoot. Hold on. Let me try this again. No. Stop. You have to do the other part first. I know. I know. I just forgot that time. Just hold on a sec and let me show you again. No. I got it. See? Nope. Still not right. You have to do the wave part just like me. You can see why. Hey, where did you go? Hello? Oh dear. Lost another one. Oh well. Might as well practice while I'm waiting. Step 1. Use two hands. Pull back in a slow sweeping motion. Step 2. 